so class 10 as you know that we have started with the discussion uh, we are going to start with the discussion of this chapter the proposal so we have completely read and i think that on that day we also had enough discussion about the theme of this you can say play also that it is of course depicting the 19th century uh, you can see themes of the people to get married and ultimately how people they change their stance okay what is the meaning of stance that is how people they change their stance stance means uh their stand okay their stand how they change with time for example natalia who was first of all you can say very much against lomo as he has you can say as he has come with the proposal come up with the proposal and later on what has happened she was completely against him because of you can say because of uh because of there was a tussle uh between both of them for you can say uh for you can say uh for the ownership of oxen meadows right and ultimately now what happened then afterwards when she has come to know that he has come up with a you can say with a proposal for her she was she has immediately changed her stance and was immediately ready to get married to him right so this is how in this chapter is depicting the change in the nature of the people so on that day we were discussing about character sketch of lomo so i have discussed with you that he, he was of light hearted how he was light hearted this we, uh, we have discussed on that day that he suffered from palpitation he was not able to to stand the heated argument between chubukov and lomo and after that he was of course shy in nature as he was not able to come up to the exact point okay uh, of that he was not able to he was moving round and round he was not coming to the point to tell to chubukov also as well as to natalia the reason of his coming to their house being prepared up in this kind of you can say evening dress so he was of course shy in nature also then ultimately he, he, another you can say point you can mention is was that that he was also not able to express his emotions he was also not able to express his emotions well this is the reason why he was not able to disclose them the reason of their coming to their house that what he why for what reason he has come as to go first of all he thought that he has come only for you can say for the purpose of you can say uh, borrowing some money or some other reason he has come to their house but later on he has come he later on after too much of you can say moving round and round he was able to explain that the reason of coming to their house was to uh, was to just propose natalia for a marriage okay next of course he was suffering from palpitations okay he had a weak heart he had great level of anxiety it is just because of this reason that what happened that he, there was a twitch in his you can say right eyebrow moreover something his right foot got numb and it is just because of this reason that he has uncontrollable emotions also right so finally he was involved in that okay easily involved in the argu uh, in the argument because when chubukov as well as natalia they have come up with the point that he has uh, that they were fighting over the ownership of oxen meadows then at that time what has happened that he was easily involved in that kind of argument and he was a part of that heated argument also right of course he also has a good sense of dressing yes okay he also has a good sense of dressing okay so how he had good sense of dressing in the sense that he knew that as he has come up with the proposal to marry natalia and for that reason he has come up quite prepared in his evening dress and he was well dressed of course okay he was rich okay and he was you can say uh, he was having you can say good you can say piece of land also and ultimately 
it is just because of this reason that Chubukov and Natalia thought that he was of course a perfect and compatible match for her. And Natalia, she was too willing to marry him that she knew that she could not find appropriate match better than Lamov in her community. Right? She was not able to, you can say, withstand heated argument. It is just because of this reason that he was on the verge of being unconscious. He has turned out to be unconscious in the end also. Okay, he is easily taken away by these arguments. Of course, this also depicts that he was emotional in nature also. Okay, of course, he was emotional in nature and it is just because of this reason, because of his emotional nature, finally, when he had turned out to be unconscious, Shubhukov and Natalia thought that he was dead and they were finally ready to submit. Okay, he was of course sensible because, sensible because when Natalia, she was, you can say she was, you can say she was stubborn enough to prove that she owned Oxal Meadows. He said that he was working on a principle. Okay, and it is just because of this reason, every time he's talking about ownership of Oxal Meadows, he's of course talking about the ownership. Right. Okay. And it was, of course, based on a principle. So it is just because of these reasons, what is there uh, in the light of all these points, you will write down character sketch of Lomo. Okay. For every point you are writing. Okay. So you have to explain, you have to balance it with the context to the chapter and with that of instance from the chapter. Okay. So what are the various points I have discussed? Let me speak at once that he was lighthearted, he was shy, he was not able to uh, express his emotions, he was suffering from palpitations, he was easily involved in heated arguments, he had good sense of dressing, he was rich of and a good neighbor also, okay, he was rich and of course he was good neighbor also and moreover he could not withstand, you can say, uh, strong or grim arguments. Okay, he is easily taken away by these arguments. He was emotional as well as sensible in nature. He was emotional as well as sensible in nature, right? So these are all about the character sketch of Lomo. So first of all, I think that <coughs> we will discuss the question answers, okay, which are the textual ones. Then afterwards, we are going to start with the character sketch of Chubukov also. Yes, here it is being displayed on your screens. The first question is, what does Chubukov at first sub, sub, uh, suspect that Lamo has come for? And is he sincere when he later says, and I have always loved you, my angel, as if you were my own son. Find reasons for your answer from the play. Yes, anybody who will speak for this answer? Yes. Otherwise, in this class, I know that only two students are speaking, either Bhumika or Anshika. Rest are just mute spectators. I don't know why. In online class, you people don't feel like speaking. I don't know why. Even Ragha Varoda, Ragha Sadhana, they are not speaking. Otherwise, they had a lot of discussion during the class hours. So, let me explain on my own, finally. That what does Chubukov, uh, what does Chubukov at first suspect? So Chubukov at first sub, sub, uh, he suspected that Lomov has come up, come up with some, you can say, come up with his evening dress. He might have come in order to borrow some money or the other thing. Okay. So later on, when he said that he was just like his own son. Okay. So he was not at all serious about that. Okay. As he has decided. As he thought that Lamo has come up to borrow some money. So in that case, you can't say that he was serious in saying that he was just like his own son. Okay. <coughs> so the second question is, Chubukov says to Natalia, Chubukov says of Natalia, as if she won't consent, she, she's love egad. Okay. She's, she's life a lovesick cat, okay, and then would you agree, find, answer, find reasons for your answers. So first of all, the main thing is there, the main thing that I want to speak here is what is the meaning of egad? What is the meaning of egad? Can anybody tell? Can... <coughs> 
what is the meaning of egad can anybody in the class tell what is the meaning of egad no one is so serious to tell just a moment let me bring my specs <coughs> Yes, I was just asking you that what is the meaning of egad? Who will tell? Because we have read in the chapter this egad. What is the meaning of this word egad? Just raise up your hands. Yes, come up. I'm just waiting for you people. No one. So what is egad? Egad means expressing surprise. okay when some uh, anger or surprise or sudden emotion is being expressed then it is called as egad so here the question is chubuka says of natalia if she won't consent she is in love egad means surprising she is a love sick cat would you agree so first of all would you agree yes we think that natalia was in love how we come to know <coughs> it is just because of the reason that when natalia comes to know that uh, that Lomo has come up with the proposal for her. She immediately changed her stance. I have written on the board what is the meaning of stance. Me, she has changed her stance. At first, she was fighting with Lomo for the ownership of Fox and Meadows, and later on, she was quite at all ready to marry him. Okay, she starts weeping, and ultimately, she also you can say when Lomo was leaving, she asked her father to bring Lomo in. Okay, it means. that what it means it means that she of course loves lomo right so the third question as it is expressed on the screen is find the words and expressions in the play that uh, that the characters used to speak about each other and accusations and insults so many examples are there okay then think of the adjectives and adject uh, adjectival expressions of your own to describe each character this we uh, won't do because just we will just discuss the main things okay what they were saying you know that the various words and expressions which are being used here is they have used intriguer grabber land grabber natalia as love sick cat she was an excellent housekeeper also okay she was uh, uh, lomo said she was not bad looking also well educated also and for lomo what is used what are the phrases or expression used he was a good neighbor impudent insulting ones petty fogger okay malicious double faced intriguer rascal okay turnip ghost a villain a scarecrow okay stuffed sausage so many are there okay means in because during the fight we have come to know number of phrases about them okay so these are some of the questions which are given in this you can say text but i don't think so that they are the appropriate ones okay so i'm going to discuss some extra questions with you also so that you can you can uh, write down in your notebooks okay so the first question you can write down is how does natalia how does natalia excite lomo to fight how does natalia excite lomo to fight first question is how does natalia excite lomo to fight how she excited so you know when lomo has come up quite you can say well dressed in his evening dress and ultimately he has come with his uh, by putting his gloves also first of all chubukov thought that he has come in order to borrow some money from him later on when he has come to know that he has come with you can say he has come up with the proposal that was another scene okay but later on when natalia she came on scene she first of all apologized for being wearing these loose clothes as she was busy in the household work and moreover when lomo talked about oxen meadows which were you can say which were situated between his their birchwood and the marshland ultimately this evoked you can say natalia's anger and she was of course very much angry about the ownership okay she was fighting and again and again pointing out to the fact 
she was again again and, and again and again stressing upon this fact that oxen meadows were the sole property of chubukov and hers but not of not of lomov <coughs> and for this reason lomov was of course giving various you can say arguments he was presenting he was of course talking about the principle how he owns that property but ultimately natalia was not listening and this fight it turned into a heated argument later on that's fine <coughs> next question is what did natalia say about guess the dog what did natalia what did natalia say about guess the dog what did what did she say what did she say about the dog guess so first of all she disapproved the breed of the dog she also said that it was you can say short muzzle okay and moreover he has paid a lot of money to buy this dog and he is not at all better than squeezer right then she has also called it as overshot right and ultimately she was not at all admitting this fact that there you can say guess that there she is not admitting that guess is better than squeezer okay so what is squeezer you know squeezer is the dog that belonged to chubukov and her daughter natalia that's clear this answer is clear if any doubt you can raise up your hands so in return to that how does lomov how did lomov contradict that his dog is better than squeezer so how did lomov contradict that his dog is better than squeezer that his dog is better than squeezer how is he saying how is his dog better than squeezer so how his dog is better than squeezer so first of all he also first of all he laid stress upon the fact that his dog was of course of pure bred okay that it was pure bred it was not of mixed breed and ultimately he has also explained that during the moransky hunt okay so it was means it was it was their squeezer who was lagging behind because all the other were following the sheep and he were all all were having to follow the fox but what he was doing he was only following the following sheep okay so ultimately he wanted to prove that that their dog is not at all better he was of course not a good hunter also right so this is how he is provide he is providing okay that and moreover he is also saying that their dog is an overshot means having lower jaw uh, bigger than the upper one so this is the reason why he was saying that he was an overshot and this natalia as well as chubuka they were not at all admitting that their dog was better or not is it clear clear this answer any doubt to any student if you have doubt you can raise up your hands okay fine so next question that i am going to discuss is what are the reasons given by lomov what are the reasons given by lomov to get married what are what are the reasons given by lomo this is quite easy you can tell given by lomo to get married what were the reasons given by him raise up your hands yes 
Anybody can speak? Yes, no one in the class can speak. Ruhani, what about you? Tripti, no one can speak. <coughs> yes, Kanishka, you can speak good. Ma'am, can you please repeat third question again? Third question again. Okay, third question was, uh, how did Lamov contradict that his dog is better than Squeezer? So first of all, Lamov was also of the opinion that his dog, Guess, is better than Natalia's dog, that is Squeezer. Because first of all, the first thing that he thought was, uh, uh, thought that Squeezer was overshot, having the lower jaw smaller than the upper jaw. Okay, and moreover, he was not, of course, a perfect hunter because during the Varansky hunt, okay, Varansky hunt, what was happening that their dog, okay, that their dog, it was following the, it was following the sheep, but rest of the dogs, they were after the, you can say they were after the, so they have to follow the fox, okay. So it is just because of this reason, he was saying that he was, of course, not a good hunter also. Okay, so Squeezer was stupid enough that he was following the sheep only, right? So for this, you can say Chubukov as well as Natalia, they were not at all ready to admit this thing. And moreover, he was of course thinking that their dog was of course not a, that of pure, it was not a pure bred one, okay? That is, it is of mixed breed, okay? So these were the three main arguments presented, right? That's fine. Kanishka, is it clear, Bata? Okay. Now, next is, what are the reasons given by Lamov to get married? As we have read in the very start of this chapter that Lamov has come up with his reasons to get married. So, what were the reasons that he has given that he thought that he has also turned out to be 35, which is, of course, a critical age and moreover, he wanted to live a quiet and regular life, okay? And moreover, he suffered from palpitations. He thought that this is the right time to get married, okay? So it is just because of this reason that he has come up with the proposal to Natalia's house in order to get married, right? Now, Now we are going to the next question that is the main episode of this chapter that is the ownership of oxen widows. Now the question is what arguments were presented? What arguments were presented by Lamov? to prove his ownership of oxen meadows. So what were his heated arguments that he presented to prove his ownership of oxen meadows? So in this chapter, as you know, the first half of the chapter it is of course occupied with this with these you can see heated arguments that that happened between natalia as well as that of lamov okay they were fighting over the ownership of oxen meadows and according to according to you can say natalia oxen meadows belong to them as they as their peasants they have used it for the past 40 years but lamov's arguments were based on the principle of course legally he has all the documents related to oxen meadows and after that also he has also mentioned that some 40 years ago his great his grandmother okay she has given these oxen meadows to his grandfather's grandfather and they were used by peasants for 40 years and they were not paying anything in return to it moreover they were making for they were making bricks for her grandmother okay so these were the main arguments which were presented by Lamo in order to explain about his ownership of oxen meadows. So he thought that why these oxen meadows were used by Natalia's family, it was just because his great, because his grandmother has given it to her grandfather's grandfather, great grandfather. Okay. Okay. 
so describe the verbal fight between lonmov natalia and chubukov so when ever the question is about verbal fight so in this kind of question when you have to explain because this is of course a verbal fight throughout okay throughout the chapter what was there it was of course a verbal fight so in this kind of verbal fight what you have to explain you have to explain the complete you can say the reasons of their fight okay first of all you will come up with the description of the fight over the matter of oxen meadows as just now i have explained that why they were fighting with each other okay then afterwards you will come up with the point that when but when natalia she comes to know about the reason of lomov's coming to their house that he has come up with the proposal to marry her she has changed her stance okay she thought that lomov of course is a perfect match for him as he is a rich neighbor and moreover <clears throat> he owns large area of land to make her life comfortable but later on their fight it has shifted up to you can say their uh, fight it has shifted up to uh you can say to that of you can say the superiority of their dogs that according to the more guesses better one than squeezer but natalia she was of course she was contradicting her in the opinion that their dog squeezer is better than that of you can say uh guess and moreover lomo has paid more money that is 135 rubles is of course an excessive amount of money to be paid for this kind of dog as he was not of pure bred he was overshot also and he was also thinking he was short muzzled and you can explain about the arguments as we have discussed in the previous chapters right and of course after that you will use the various kind of expression used by they they were calling each of them as grabber pettifogger malicious intriguer scarecrow for lomo okay then uh, um, you can say sausage also right so these kind of expressions so it means that they have gone to to you can say much deeper extent in order to insult each other right so this chapter of course in a comical way has brought down the real face of the society of 19th century that how people how means the people of russian background that they can go to any extent okay and how what kind of matches they were seeking this is very well explained in this chapter okay so that's all for this chapter that is the proposal tomorrow we are going to start with the poem that is custard dragon and after that we will start with the poem animals so that's all for today